Hello, this is Henito, and this is Dread Delusion. Uh, I've never played this game before, so I'm very excited to get into it. I've been watching it for a while, but I've been holding off because it's early access, which can be good, but also sometimes you don't get much. Uh, and coming off of Gloomwood, I kind of fancied continuing that theme of doing the PS1 style games. So, we're going to give Dread Delusion a go. Very excited to get started with our adventure. So, let's begin. The world is broken. Its surface is cursed, inhospitable. Those that remain cling to islands in the sky. In the dank cell of an Inquisition ship, you ruminate on your past. Ooh, okay. Dreams of childhood slip through your mind. Was your fate sealed even then? Okay, so we can choose our class. So this is cool, very classic gameplay. Hmm. Typically in these games, I would go for Persona because I usually find it useful to be able to charm people and barter. On the other hand, I do love picking characters with guile uh, because I really enjoy, well, breaking into places, I guess, is the way to say it. Hmm. Let's go, let's go for charm. We're going to be a charming person. Uh, the body grew, the mind sharpened. For a while, you excelled. Oh no, I don't know whether to pick law, which could be really cool for finding secrets. Or just charm ourselves right up. I guess I already said we were going to be a charming playthrough. Okay, we're going to charm it up. I said we were going to be charming. So you know what? We're going to be the charmingest charmersome that ever charmed. Crack showed. Your guard slipped. The mistake was grave. The Inquisition had your scent. I don't know. Agility could be pretty nice. And so could defense. Because you know what I'm like in these games. I always die. No, we're going to go barter. It's part of our charmed history. Our charming personality. We're going to be a charming, bartering, whatever. What are these? Okay. Oh, do I need to change the look sensitivity? Maybe. Does that? There we go. That's that's a that's a bit better. Well, I might need to change it again as we go along, but I think for now it's okay. Hi, buddy. Can we can we discuss things? Can we converse? Uh, well, I guess you're pretty past your expiration date, actually. So, uh, hello. Oh, my door was just open. Seems foolish. What about this? Ooh, hello. Hi, you don't mind if I take your coin, do you? Of course you don't. Pilford coin. Pilford one coin, sorry. Okay, cool. This is already really cool. The graphics are... Well, they're what you'd expect for a PS1 style graphics. Hi. Floating skull thing. Prisoner 17, you have been marked for temporary release. Our Inquisitor will see you in the central chamber. Do not keep him waiting. Uh, wait, why am I being released? Uh, what are you exactly? Well, that's a rude question to ask of a flying skull creature. Why am I being released? Only the Inquisitor can answer that, but I calculate there is 8 in 10 chance you'll be granted the honour of a glorious and sanctifying death. Cool, that's uh, that's what I want out of life. I'm actually going to change my sensitivity again. 2.5 maybe? Yeah, that's a bit loosey-goosey, okay. Uh, can I just drop through this hole rather than seeing the Inquisitor? No? Okay. Well, I guess we'll uh, we'll go and talk to the Inquisitor and see what all this is about. Hi. Ah, Prisoner 17. Still in one piece, I see. Good, good. I've been tasked with apprehending a very dangerous individual, but on assaulting her fortress, my agents have encountered a slight setback. They're all dead. So, on consideration, I am not sure your crimes weren't such a harsh sentence, Prisoner 17. In fact, I will release you on one condition. You must apprehend the most dangerous outlaw in the apostatic union, Vela Kalos. Uh, 
I'm not doing a damn thing you say. Um, how am I supposed to do that? Now listen, Velikolos is one of the leaders of the Dark Star Mercenary Band. They are notorious for raiding cultists and god worshippers. Oh, for aiding, not raiding. Okay, sorry. Our ship is docked close to their headquarters, an old fortress from the God War. My agents launched an assault one hour ago with limited success. Simply follow in their footsteps and succeed where they failed. My drones will provide you with advice to guide you on your way, so... Any questions? Uh, this is a goddamn suicide mission. Who is this Vela Kalos exactly? She's one of noble birth, would you believe? Heir to a wealthy military family in Riova. She was groomed by her father for command, but after the death of her mother and sister, she fled. She started preaching nonsense about some heaven, and managed to rally a band of thieves and brigands to her cause. They've been causing quite the ruckus around the fringes of Union territory, aiding and abetting cultists and god worshippers. Needless to say, they must be stopped. Okay, so the apostatic Union, I guess, um, are against god worshippers and cultists? It's a goddamn suicide mission? Not at all. Many of the Dark Star mercenaries have been killed in the assault. Only a handful remain. My drones calculate you have a 1 in 465 chance of success. So, worth a shot, eh? Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, great. I like those odds. Okay, I'll do my best. Very good. I'm also giving you one of our Inquisition journals. It's been constructed with the state-of-the-art cipher magic. The pages will keep track of your status. Oh, and a word of advice. I wouldn't try and run. This is a small island, and it's a long way down. Okay, so... Basically, we're being forced to do the bidding of the Union uh, just because we're a criminal, I guess. Oh, potions. Mana potion. Revitalizes mana, created from the Paradoxicus herb. This potion stimulates the mind and increases the user's question mark, magical potency and has become quite a habit for many university scholars. Oh, addictive then. Restores your health. This potion is brewed from the eye of... Pagoth, herb, and hastens the body's restorative functions. It is prescribed by most by some, most doctors. One of the, the few future, blah, blah, blah. one of their few treatments that does more good than harm. Ooh. Okay, so the state of medicine in this world is not brilliant, apparently. Reminds me of many of the historical medical things I've read about. Oh, the things they used to do to people to try and help them, which. Uh, yeah, these days, you wouldn't do to your worst enemy, pretty much. Hi, what are you? Can I, can I talk to you? Can I, can we chatums? Woo! Hi. No, no chats? Okay. Uh, the big thing there doesn't wanna, don't wanna chat with me, that's fine. Oh, here's another of the drones, I'm guessing that's what you are. So... This wooden doorway can be broken with a weapon. There's an Inquisition supply chest nearby. Pick up the sword, then open your inventory. Navigate to the equipment panel and equip the sword in one of your weapon slots. Lastly, remember to unholster your weapon before attacking. Though this is a meagre task, I calculate there is one in twenty chance you will somehow perish in the attempt. Uh, thanks guy. So are you some kind of artificial life form that the Apostasy Union has created? Does that mean they're into necromancy? Covered in rust, probably can't cut through cheese. Oh, great. Sounds useful to me then. Okay. Uh, tab is inventory, apparently. Equip this item. Yes, thank you. Nice. So now we have a sword. Oh, there we go. Oh. Then it can't cut through cheese or boxes. What? What is with game? You can't... You don't let me destroy the boxes? Why? Why would this be the case? Huh? How come those boxes have... Plot armor? Oh yeah. Yeah, I got through the door. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. He just... He just... He just says the same thing. He does... He doesn't care. He doesn't care that I managed to not die. In doing this. Hi. I see you made short work of that flimsy door. Your skills are exemplary. The enemy doesn't stand a chance. Wow, is that sarcasm? 
That said, the road ahead is patrolled by a Dark Star mercenary, and I would recommend hiding in the nearby mushrooms until they pass. It is not that I doubt your skills, Prisoner 17. I simply calculate a 4 in 5 chance you'll die horribly in combat. Remember, direct conflict is usually avoidable. Always be on the lookout for ways you can sneak past enemies. Okay, so don't take on every fight, basically, is what you're telling me. Seems sensible. Oh, here's the, uh, is that the mercenary? That we're to avoid? They said to wait until they pass. So, I guess we'll just avoid them for now. We could go rushing into battle, but, you know. I would quite like to get a bit further in this game before dying. Horribly. Okay, so this place is on fire. Oh, there's the mercenary over there. Walking around. All, um, blurry. Okay. Oh, can I get in here? Um, I, I know it seems... Hello? Okay. I know it seems strange to want to get in a burning building, but I'm just wondering if there's something in here I can, I can have. Like, there's that pink thing. What's that pink thing? I want it. Give me the pink thing. Okay, we can't get the pink thing, I guess. Oh, so this mercenary is dead. Oh, but there are more mercenaries around. Should we just fight them? Wow, your movement there is pretty pretty funny, that person. Hi. Have you seen me? Oh, you've seen me. Interesting, okay. So, the enemy AI so far seems a bit, you know, funny. Bit, bit funny. Bit funny, haha. -ha. Ow! Ow, they, yeah, this... Ooh. Can I, where are my potions? Ow, okay, we, we died. That's That was to be expected, I guess. Oh, hi. What are you? Floating head staff? I guess this is where we resurrect. So where did we resurrect? Oh, I see. It, this little cave was hidden behind this door. Okay. Okay, so on second thoughts, it's probably best to avoid the soldiers. Just like the drone told us. The drone was correct when they said that we would we would die because uh, we did die horribly so how exactly are we meant to get through here when there are a bunch of uh, people wandering around I guess we'll try and sneak past I don't oh except he's he's seen us already so I guess we'll just run and take this coin. Um, hi. The Inquisition agent is an ally. They are dying, but they still might be of use. Both know that you've been in a prison for some time. Though I no longer possess a sense of smell, there is a high probability that you emit a foul stench. Oh, thanks. So this agent may take some convincing. Remember that when talking to others, you may have to charm them to gain their trust. That won't be a problem for me, I promise you. Success relies on your charm skill, which is derived from the persona attribute. Thanks. Ow! Yeah, so we've got these agents here, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, we're gonna sneak in here. Hopefully. We've, we've snuck. Oh no, we're being shot at. But we can talk from behind this table. <laughs> Are you one of the locals who looks up you up and down in disgust? Look, just leave me be. I failed the Inquisition. I'd rather die in peace. Um, I'm here to help you. Your Inquisitor has tasked me with capturing Villa Colos. 
Success! He lets out a weary chuckle that breaks into a cough. Oh my, I recognise you now. You're one of the prisoners. Gods, the Inquisitor must be really desperate. You know you're going to die, right? Those bastards wiped out our whole echelon. If you insist on this fool's errand, you might find some supplies at my crash drop pod. Follow the river upstream, and you should find it by the waterfall. Okay, so we're going to go after this guy's supplies. And I'm going to continue to avoid fighting these guys, because they seem really tough. Is this his drop pod? I mean, I've already got a, a health bottle from here. But is there, is there anything else up closer to the stream? It doesn't look like it, so I'm guessing that was his drop pod. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to continue not fighting those guys because they seem pretty tough. And we've just got this, frankly, cruddy sword. I don't know if there's anything more to be said to this guy. Hi. Look, just leave me be. I failed the Inquisition. I'd rather die in peace. Oh, okay. Well, I'll leave you to die then. Um, I don't really want to hang around here anyway, because I'm just being shot at all the time. Ooh, lockpick. Pilfered one lockpick. And this looks breakable. It is. Thank you. Hi. To progress, you must unlock this door. You will need a lockpick to begin. You should find an ample supply next to me. When picking a lock, there is always a chance you will fail and the lockpick will break. Oh great, just like Skyrim. To pick locks more easily, increase your lockpick skill. Mechanical locks are not the only security measure you'll come across. There is an art to disguising secrets through magical means. Ah, yes, the mechanism thing that I um, gave up. Oh, we rolled and we won. Can I have another of these, please? Or did our lockpick not break? Nice. In this room, the candlesticks on the wall have been enchanted to open a secret passageway. To interact with them, you must have a sufficiently high law skill. Uh, solving a law puzzle usually depletes your mana. There may be multiple enchanted objects tied to a specific secret, so always be mindful of your surroundings. Oh. You mean booby traps? Oh, there are people fighting out there. Okay, so we've... There we go. Something has changed. Yes, the door has opened. Okay, so they're busy fighting. So you know what? I'm going to leave them to their business. Oh, he killed him. Yeah, I'm glad I left him to his business. Ooh, but there's... Oh, there's stuff I can take. Okay. Uh, don't mind me. Ammunition, an assortment of ammunition for ranged weapons required to fire bows and the like. And the like? What else is there? Ow! Okay. I thought maybe the bowmen would be easy pickings, but the answer is no. They, they are not easy pickings. They are still really difficult. Uh, maybe you'd be able to fight them if you'd picked combat abilities, which I didn't. Uh, as per usual, I decided to fixate on being charming and stuff like that. I think what would really help me is not just having this rusty piece of crap. In this house, you'll find a bed and a crystal point. You should make use of both. Resting restores your health, mana, and maximum stamina. You may only rest in a bed when it's safe to do so. Crystal points restore mana and save the game. They also grant a home spell, which will return you to the last used crystal point. Remember that spells and usable items must be equipped before use, just like the weapon. Oh crap. Excuse me. I was busy reading dialogue. Oh, he's... You don't have much health, buddy. I guess that's because you were already... You were already fighting. Do I get anything for killing you? <gasps> Ammunition. I mean, I'll take it. That archer, however, had full health, so we're not going to bother him. Hey, return home. A teleportation spell that transports the caster to the last crystal point touched. Though widely used by scholars, some still prefer to walk. 
They claim the chance of being incorrectly teleported off a cliff is not negligible. Hmm. Good to know. The man jolts awake from a daze. Though he is not old, his eyes betray a weariness. Oh, Baith, is that you? Oh, I'm sorry, stranger. I must have been dreaming again. I seem to do little else these days. Now let me just... Oh, damn, where is it? My dream journal. I've lost it again. I must have dropped it when running from those goblins on the mountain. Say, if you're wandering in these parts, would you mind keeping an eye out for it? Uh, what's this about your journal? Yes, yes, I've lost my dream journal. I think it's been dropped near the goblins that inhabit the mountain east of here. Go past the fortress and look for a lake, then follow the river upstream. You should find them there. I've noticed they sometimes clear off at night. If you want to avoid a fight, you should... Rest a while in my bed, approach when the neuron star has shrunk, and they might be gone. Okay, can I ask you something? You may certainly try, but things tend to slip from my mind of late, and these old bones won't carry me far. Uh, your bones don't look that old? He chuckles softly. Ah, yes. Many people tell me that. In truth, I can't remember how old I am. My mind is foggy. My memory is shrouded in mist. But my dreams... They are vivid. I dream of my daughter, Obeith, and a terrible war. I keep a journal in the hope of deciphering truth from dream. Hmm, interesting. Have you heard of Vela Kalos? Vela, Vela. Oh, you mean that young commander leads that band of mercenaries up in the old fortress? I was a bit worried when they took over that place. I thought they might cause some trouble, but honestly, other than the noise, they've been no bother. That Vela girl even visited me once. She sat and listened to my dreams and left me some food. Seemed a nice girl. Uh, what can you tell me about these islands? Hmm, these are the Oneric Isles, but I'm no local here myself. Let's see, we're circled by a small red neuron star. Though you've probably noticed that already. Oh yes, and lately folk have been making a great deal of fuss about some ap apostatic union. The Union renounced their gods, I believe, and even went as far as to wage war on them. They've claimed these islands for their own, but not everybody agrees with their apostasy. Many folks won't give up their worship. That reminds me, I think I knew a god once, or was that just a dream? Hmm, interesting. Okay, that's all I wanted to ask. Thanks, buddy. I guess I can use this bed if I want. Ooh, there's a chest. Can I open you? Cypher Spear. Shoots a bolt of magical energy to damage a single foe. Though the apostatic union heavily regulates the use of offensive magic, its military donates huge sums to universities to ensure the refinement of such spells. Interesting. So, they want to control who has access to magic, I guess? Okay, I think we've run out of time for the first episode of Dread Delusion. Uh, very cool so far, very... Well, it lives up to its promise of being like an open world RPG that's kind of... Very nostalgic if you've played older games of a similar type. Um, and I'm excited to see where we go next. I like the story so far as well. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe to see more. And let me know what you thought in the comments. What do you think of it so far? Let me know. And I will see you again very soon. In the meantime, take care and stay safe.